Okay, so I've watched a bunch of videos online about dummy clips, and a lot of them are really helpful, but they miss some, or a really important aspect that I've learned in the last couple days, and that is MIDI-based dummy clips. A lot of the videos I was watching um, had audio clips that were that were um, the dummy clips, but the the MIDI ones are much more interesting to me, and I will give you an example. So take an instrument, any instrument, I'll take this bass sound, oops, and that's uh, just one of the stock sounds in Ableton, and then I will create a blank MIDI track, I like to move it over here, don't worry about this track, that's just for my microphone. Um, next, I will navigate to my Max audio devices actually it's not an audio device there it is well it is okay all right i'm gonna grab that drop drop that in the track um this is called multi-mapper it's available in the on the max for live website it was made by a guy named mother garage or a user named mother garage really cool it's is very similar to another device made by covert operators called 16 macros but I found that 16 macros doesn't work properly it's kind of old several years old I might need some updates but this one works just fine so watch this um, this track here we have oh, come on okay we have some sound. And we have a filter. Great. Um, so what I'm going to do is use this dummy track, and I'm going to map this control to that filter. I will press the map button. This window pops up. I can navigate over to here. I will map this filter there. Now that's done. OK, great. And let me play a couple notes. Um, can't play them in time because my, there's a delay in my headphones when I'm doing the screencast. So, okay, we got that. Yep. Great. Now watch this. I'm going to, I'm going to move this knob with my MIDI controller. I got to push. So, well, uh, check this out. same track as the instrument. Some of the videos I saw had the dummy clips on the same track as the instrument, which is kind of defeats the purpose to me. But um, cool thing about this, that you can do a lot with this. So you got that automation, but I'm going to record some different automation. It's only two beats long, but the automation for it is still 
seven bars in. Let's see that curve. There it is. So even though this is only two beats long, this is uh, let's see seven times four. This is twenty-eight beats long. So you know, and I can do that. Whatever. So it offers a lot more control and uh, a lot of possibilities for live performance. Enjoy.